residents had an interesting issue to deal with this Halloween. How to trick or treat in a neighborhood where a standoff was happening. So while many families were out in the valley enjoying that, well, families in their areas surrounding the standoff weren't allowed home until 8 p.m. Valley News Team's Yomana Simach tells us how some still managed to have a fun despite a dangerous situation. For some, the standoff in Moorhead ruined the Halloween spirit. My grandchildren are here, but that's about it. Nobody else. Trick or treaters have come to Lois Krabinoff's Moorhead home since 1972. I usually make up a little bay full of stuff for the neighbors and I'll catch them tomorrow. <laughs> Krabinoff says the standoff made Halloween less fun for kids living in the area. Around this neighborhood, anyway. So it's kind of sad. Others didn't let it ruin their fun. Wasn't really worried about, about uh, safety or shots fired or anything like that. Anthony and his daughter had a plan to trick or treat further away from the Moorhead home. We just stay away from those blocks until they're done with their with their business. It didn't sound like there was a uh, you know any threat beyond uh, beyond just getting in there and apprehending the individual that they were that they were worried about. They're all thankful police did a great job protecting everyone. They're taking care of it, um, keeping everybody out here safe, and make a safe environment for for uh, trick or treating here. I didn't feel threatened at all because there was so many policemen and SWAT men there that <laughs> take an army to get at me. <laughs> in Moorhead, Giovanna Simic, Valley News Live. And as for that Moorhead neighborhood, residents say police have not seen any clowns roaming around.